All right, welcome back to another Friends for Life Mid Midi again, featuring Mr. David Kissinger hey, on his hey, birthday. Hey. Happy birthday, brother! Thank you, thank you all, thank you, thank welcome you. Welcome back. So, what have you been up to? Hey, you know, we're just trying to stay warm. I'm yeah. telling you, it's freezing out Dude. there, and when I say freezing. It's freezing. Yeah. <laughs> Those of you who are not familiar where we are, we are in the Midwest, um, Toledo, Ohio. Um, and it, we've, goodness, we're, mm. I mean, it's not as bad as what has happened down in Texas. You know, my, right. my heart and prayers oh. go out to them. Oh, my. Um, but we got over a foot of snow in, what, tw- less than 24 yeah. hours. And yeah. it, it was pretty yeah. deep. Pretty yeah. stunning. I and was uh, I was actually saw some news articles today about Texas, and people were like, "Oh, everybody from the north is like, oh, what a bunch of sissies, mm, blah, they're oh, not dealing, but they don't have the infrastructure to deal no. with snow. Like they said, their houses aren't close. insulated to oh, even no. deal with this cold weather, no. and they're like, they're having like huge problems because they don't have salt trucks, they don't have plows, mm-hmm. they don't yeah. have the power outages were just yeah. like nuts, Ugh. you know? Yeah. So um, I know. You know, like what we do, we're essential workers Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, we have to get to work. Absolutely. Like, did you have any problems with any of your (laughs) your workers um, getting back and forth um, at all or like? I I mean, like you probably. I mean, our our uh, our nurses are are focused on getting where they need to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, This is nothing new for us in healthcare. Yeah. Uh, Basically, I'm sure it's not for your DSPs or, oh, no. you know, anyone that you work with. But, uh, you know, we, we, just like a firefighter or mm-hmm. a police officer or an EMT or a paramedic, I mean, we we know that we have to go and we have to do what we got to do uh, because the people that we care for are relying on us. Yeah. So. And, dude, you, you hit the nail on the head. And I think that when we come out of our comfort zones and really realize what we are doing, Mm -hmm. you don't even look at it as being an obstacle. (laughs) You know, you look at it more as like, well, I got to get this done so I can go help, you know, not only the individual I serve, but my fellow coworker who might be stuck there themselves. Absolutely. I mean, when we come in, we're, we're relieving someone that's been there eight or 10 or 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not like they've just been sitting around doing nothing. I mean, these are, these are workers that deserve to have their time off just like we do. Exactly. And so there's a camaraderie, I would say, in our business in healthcare mm-hmm. that, you know, we understand what it's like to work that night shift or that third shift, uh, you know, or second shift. We, yeah. we get that. And, uh, you know, it's <laughs> these are the times that I think make and break people in the healthcare field. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's just like a lot when COVID first started. I I said very early on, and I think you and I even discussed Mm -hmm. it, like, this is going to change a lot of people's professions. (laughs) Like, they're going to, you're going to really feel, figure out if you're made for this or not. Yeah, Mm -hmm. it's not for the faint of heart. I mean, what we do is important. It's serious. Uh, There's a reason why they send you through clinicals. It's not Mm -hmm. just because you need to practice. It's because (laughs) you need to understand what you're getting into. Heck yeah. And I've seen many, you know, people that uh, once they hit their first clinicals, they start to, they say, is this something I really want to do? <laughs> and uh, not that it happens all the time, but it it's certainly, I think, a very valuable tool to bring people in and have them see, mm-hmm. you know, what is the, what does care look like? Yeah, How does care get delivered? And what, uh, what am I going to be doing mm-hmm. and when? And, uh, and that's a... That's a frank reality. I mean, yeah. humans have uh, have some things that aren't necessarily enjoyable to deal with. <laughs> my pee smell like a pe- asparagus. <laughs> give me, give me some help. Yours too. <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah, and it's it's not like with with nursing or or residential care. Like I can take my laptop home and edit yeah. the podcast, and it's like, yeah, whatever, right. we're good to go. Yeah. But you guys don't have that option. You can't yeah. dial in <laughs> helping someone from home and just be like, all right, good to go. I'm telling, no. it's one of the that's one of the hardest things to do once you like, I guess, went up the ladder mm-hmm. to per se to more executive type of work. When you are a helper in in heart, mm-hmm. it is very tough to sit back and not be able to help. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, I think, is very life-changing for a lot of folks. Well, there's a reason why they call it personal care. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call it impersonal care. Yeah. Right. You're up in their business. Yeah. And when I say business. Yeah. <laughs> in, uh, in all essence. I mean the all of their business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So how, how's the family? How's every, good, everything going? Good. We're, uh, you know, we're plugging away. Uh, you know, it's been... Wow, man, how long has it been? It's been like, it feels like forever. But hey, it, uh, Man, it, I mean, it's been a few months that we've even like been able to yeah. see each other. What episode are we on now? I mean, I just, it's uh, like we're coming up. I mean, the podcast yeah. is coming up on episode 20 this weekend. Oh, so, so I think I was back in the 10s. You maybe were like yeah. early you, on. You yeah. Really early. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm, you know, I'm watching you guys and you guys are just doing great. And we're here in this awesome new studio. I mean, Thank oh you. my goodness. Dude, this hey, is like Tony's you, brainchild. You know, this is like game you on. The flag up there. You <laughs> right, like, like, I right. was like, you know, I think David would love this. I do. I center. do. You <laughs> guys are game on now. I'm looking around and I'm thinking, oh my. Hey, you're like taking pros. it serious. You're, you're taking pros. It. Yeah, we're trying to be. Um, and anybody who wants to check it out um, in person, get with Paul. We'll, you know, have a structured view for you. Yeah, get, <laughs> some, yeah. get some behind the scenes on this stuff, man. Exactly. Yeah, we'll show, we'll show them what it's all about. I mean, we we put in the time. We're yeah. we're taking a super a lot serious. of dedication. Yeah. We got a lot of we got a lot of new content getting ready to do. And wait till you guys see new guests, <laughs> old guests, yes. recurring guests. That's mm-hmm. right. So hey, you got any big plans for your birthday tonight? I know you it's know like what? a winter apocalypse. It, it is. <laughs> I mean, so we got the weather. We got the you know the the work, and mm. uh, and we got all of the things that uh, restrict us around the pandemic. So, I mean, we. I just, uh, you know, I stopped at GFS, picked up a nice slab was, of beef, ooh, nice, and uh, and cut that down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I put, uh, I took that, put it in the refrigerator. I sliced it up real nice. I, I used some good cuts, mm-hmm. uh, but then I'm doing this uh, this dry, not dry rub really, but it's uh, basically I, I, you know, w- before refrigeration, the way that meat was preserved, salt was salt. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I took my salt. I got my salt out. Uh, the nice, uh, like the thick kind of salt. Kosher, nice, yes. Yeah, the, the kosher the heavy salt. Kosher, yes. kosher salt. And uh, and I did that on both sides. Uh, then I got some uh, garlic powder, mm-hmm. sprinkled that out there. And then I had some onion powder, sprinkled that on there. I leave it in there as long as I can stand it, which usually only ends up being like three or four days. There you yeah. go. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's, it's like a dry age. It is. You know. It's kind of. But yeah. I just do it in the fridge uh, instead of like, you know. Some, yeah. Something but at 30 Like I don't have an official like aging system, yeah. but I just have my own methods. And I wrap it up in uh, saran wrap. Oh, man. Put that in the fridge. I've had it in there. What's it been? Three days now? I bet you're going to have a nice, oh, good man. mark on that I'm day. telling you, if you, when you come over... We're gonna have some amazing steaks. I'm gonna hey, have. I might just be popping up tonight. I, I'm already thinking about looking at some of my cancellations. I can start I've already making. got them set, man. And I, if there's one thing I need, it's 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 a team to consume this there cow. Because <laughs> this is a big cow. I got the big slab. That's a good yes, way to cook for a. T- you need a team to eat. Yes. That's how you cook. That's right. And, right. And That's they're right. gonna make a make some meat that he'll burp and it'll smell. Better than what you've cooked all day. <laughs> I'm like, gosh, dude, like, really? <laughs> it's good stuff. I get the, my wife got me the Traeger for Father's Day oh. a couple yes, of years ago. Yes, I got a Traeger too. Yeah. yeah. Which, which, yes. which, one, which model did you I get? don't know what the model oh. is, but all I know is it has Wi Fi. Wi Fi. Yep. I mean, who has a Wi Fi on their grill? I think you got the 720. You know? <laughs> and you got this long probe. And it, like, I'm sitting in my, you know, in my chair. And I'm watching what the grill's doing, and it's telling me the temperature, temperature. of the oh, inside yeah. of a piece of meat outdoors. That's I mean, awesome. what is the what? How boom. often? Boom! <laughs> That's right? that, baby. Yeah, you got the trigger. <laughs> nice. I'm nice. like, I mean, if there was ever a company I wanted to have as a sponsor, and I had a podcast, it'd be Traeger. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 100%. that place is amazing. Yeah. I their, love their, them. Their pellets burn so, so smooth. Yes. Um, cleanup is easy. Yeah. It is, and like you said, the Wi-Fi, yes. all the recipes that they have oh, on yeah. there. I mean, as, if you mess up a meal on a trigger, you should not be cooking. <laughs> no, no, there's just no, no reason. <laughs> well, they tell you everything. Yeah. Why don't we get one, set it outside the studio, 
And then every time we're done with the podcast, we'll yes. just grill some meat. Yes. Smoke some meat. Yep. Smoking these meats here. Hey, you're actually, I mean, I'm I'm a mile away from here. Yeah, he's hop oh. skipping a jump. Yeah. We can I, would, I would just go to yeah, your house. Use my trailer. <laughs> I mean, come on. I got my setup. I got my parking lot. I got everything. I got the back area all set up. It's beautiful. I got, I see, I got one of those refrigerator style ones. It's like a, it looks oh, like a yeah. mini fridge. I yeah. got it for Christmas. That's a and, grill? No, it's a, a, it's just a smoker. smoker. Oh yeah, and it just smokes. Yeah. But it's weird. It's cool because it's like kind of like set it and forget it. You yeah. just gotta mess with the chips every once in yep. a while. But the trigger is like big boy. It is because it has an auger. Yeah, and it like it brings in the pellets. You got this big pellet, mm -hmm. you know, holder, and it brings in the pellets and and keeps it at the right temperature. And it comes up to heat pr yeah. fairly quick. It comes Maybe. up to heat fast, and mm -hmm. then it just stays there. Maybe one day I'll be a real man and get a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you I guys got know. me jealous over I don't here. Oh man, you got, hey, trigger, you gotta give it. Send us one. To you try gotta out. mature. I mean, right now <laughs> you're a little. You're a young pup. Yeah, you I need got, to get some hair on my chest. Yeah, there's <laughs> the, got the hair. On the hair needs to flow down. To where it really right. matters. I'll cut the beard off and glue it to my chest and yeah. demand a well, trigger. Well, that's just the kind of thing that a young boy like you would say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, here we oh. go. Well, guys, I, hey, David, I appreciate you coming by, yeah. man. This well, was thanks a, for the invite. Yeah, I mean, hey. this was like... I'm like, your new studio. I was so excited. Yeah. And then who knew I'd get here on the first day? First, up, first day. Boom. Boom. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you dig it because... Tony and I have spent a lot of time in this room see. over the last week I, and a half. <laughs> the, it, it, coming in new, obviously I was in your other one. It was great. This is this is like you are primo, top of the shelf. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Like, uh, you know, not just Johnny Walker, but like McAllen. 24 Ooh. yeah you know we're talking we're talking big show. bucks yeah <laughs> or, <laughs> i mean i'd even go as far as saying louis the 13th Ooh. crystal crystal you know Listen, scotch anybody who's not a bourbon scotch or a whiskey just google those <laughs> you will see what he's talking about it'll just be a picture of the podcast studio yeah right yes <laughs> that's it this is it this is it i mean this is top shelf you guys are I mean, what's amazing is we're able now with technology to do things that, like, you know, back in the day, no one could have done all this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Certainly not for the money. Yeah. It, I mean, yes, it's co it's costly, but it's not anywhere close to what it used to be. Oh, I mean, high, you said you got high def cameras and everything. Four K. Yeah, I mean, that stuff didn't even exist twenty years you ago. You guys could probably see a pimple on my face or four. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just, I mean, to me, that's just awesome. You know, we're in an age of technology. Yeah that is just so cutting edge and so mm -hmm. awesome. This, I, I'm sure it's going to be even better in the future, but this is amazing. You guys have a beautiful place Thank here. Thank you, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I, I mean, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. We appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, until next time, folks. All right. Peace. Later.